The government of Israel is contemplating the construction of a bridge ascending from the Western Wall area to the Temple Mount. It will replace the old bridge, which was damaged by an earthquake two years ago. Not surprisingly, the Palestinian Authority is demanding that the project be abandoned. Not for architectural or ecological or even archaeological reasons. The PA opposes the Israeli construction because it insists that the Temple Mount is not Jewish and was never Jewish. It says that the idea of the Jewish temple is a myth. They declare, therefore, that Israel has no right to ascend to the temple platform. According to Mahmoud Abbas, Chief of Staff Rafiq al-Husseini, Jerusalem is Muslim. The Blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Harim al-Sharif, our temple mount, is 100% Muslim. The Israelis are playing with fire when they threaten Al-Aqsa with digging that is taking place. Husseini's statement speaks volumes about the world of make-believe in which the Palestinian leadership lives and operates. In an interview with World Net Daily last year, Tasir Tamimi, chief Palestinian justice and one of the most influential Muslim leaders in Israel, also claimed the existence of a Jewish temple is a myth. Tamimi is considered the second most important Palestinian cleric after Muhammad Hussein, the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. Tamimi told World Net Daily, Israel started since 1967 making archaeological digs to show Jewish signs to prove the relationship between Judaism and the city, and they found nothing. There's no Jewish connection to Israel before the Jews invaded in the 1880s. Israel's claims concerning these so-called two temples, they never existed, certainly not at the Temple Mount. You know, it's absolutely astonishing how many people are beginning to believe such blatant distortions of history, well-documented and easily proven history. Solomon's temple was constructed more than 1,500 years before Muhammad's birth. The bridge that Israel is proposing will extend from the retaining wall of that temple up to the Temple Mount. The wall stands more than 70 feet high and is constructed of stones, each weighing in excess of a ton each. It's hard to miss evidence like those stones. But the lie that the two temples never existed is accepted by millions the world over. There's more historical evidence of a Jewish temple than there is for the existence of Muhammad, the founder of Islam. Not the least of evidence is the Wailing Wall of Solomon's first temple. The huge stones at the base of the present wall all carry the distinctive border that is commonly acknowledged to be of Solomon's era. When asked about it, Tamimi explained, the Western Wall is the Western Wall of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. It's where the Prophet Muhammad tied the animal which took him from Mecca to Jerusalem to receive the revelations of Allah. Muhammad's alleged night flight on a winged horse took place in 633 AD. The Western Wall predates it by over 15 centuries. This is a fact that is easily verified by the stones at its base. King Solomon built the first temple in the 10th century BC. The Babylonians destroyed it in 586 B.C. The record of the second temple's completion is also firmly established in history. In the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verse 15, it states, And this temple was completed on the third day of the month Adar. It was the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. This translates to February 515 B.C. Later, the second temple was greatly refurbished and beautified by King Herod. The second temple was destroyed by the Roman 10th Legion, commanded by Titus in A.D. 70, precisely as Jesus Christ predicted it would be. When Titus victoriously returned to Rome, an arch of triumph was built in his honor. It stands amidst the ruins of the Roman Senate to this day. Its engraving portray the great candelabra from the second temple and other artifacts being carried in the victory parade. They can be easily seen in these photos I took myself. 
For the Muslims to deny the historic Jewish presence on the Temple Mount, they must reject clear history and the record of the Old and New Testaments. Each temple stood for a period of over 400 years. That's the historic truth. But truth to this generation isn't necessarily what is truth. To this generation, truth is the most recent soundbite on TV. Nobody bothers to seek the truth in the area of Jerusalem because it's too troubling. The world prefers to believe that Israel stole the land from the Palestinians because Israel claims its title deed to the land came from God. If Israel's title deed is recognized, then Israel's God, who issued it, must also be recognized. The world finds it easier to pretend the Western Wall did not exist until the era of Islam than to admit that the God of Israel exists. But then what can we expect from a generation in which the majority believes there is no evidence of intelligent design in the universe?